Hi guys, hello, welcome to my channel. This is the second video um, talking about dealing with emotions. What can patients and families do about feelings of depression and anxiety? This was on the first video. How can patients and their families deal with the stress of chronic kidney disease? And we're going to pick it up, guys, is the following steps that can help you lessen the stress. Number one, talk to the staff at the dialysis unit or transplanted clinic. Number two, write down questions ahead of time and inform family members about changes in treatment. Number three, find out as much as you possibly can about the illness through the National Kidney Foundation, local or national support groups, written materials and educational classes. Guys, I recommend that it helps you tremendously. Keep involved in the pleasures, activity, and responsibilities of daily living, which is true. Find time to exercise at a level to suit your individual limits. Share your feelings with family and close friends. Seek help from the social worker at the dialysis unit or transplant clinic or from an outside counselor if family or personal problems need further attention. Find time to enjoy the outdoors. Try to keep your previous goals and arrange your treatment around your goals. Be patient and set realistic goals, guys, in adjusting to all lifestyle changes. Is it normal for dialysis patients to feel upset at times with the staff at the dialysis unit? Yes, it is. A dialysis unit is different from any other healthcare setting. The unit almost becomes a second family, which it does, because of the amount of time that you spend there. The staff genuinely cares about your health and well-being. However, just as with family members, it is normal to feel frustrated and angry at them sometimes. Resentment caused by being dependent on other people is the most common cause of these feelings. It is important that you discuss your concerns with the staff in a respectful way. Keeping resentment bottled up inside can affect your treatment, health, and adjustment. When should professional counseling be sought? Life with kidney disease and its treatment can be very upsetting, particularly in the early weeks and months. Most patients and families go through a period of grieving as they try to adjust to the complex feelings and make much needed changes. Many people wonder if they will be able to cope well enough and whether their feelings are normal. Most people go through a crisis period at the beginning, but with the, response, with the support of family, friends, and medical staff and other patients, they eventually adjust to life with kidney disease. Does the dialysis unit and transplant facilities have trained social workers, yes they do, who are available to, to provide adjustment counseling. Generally, the following may include a need for professional help, depression lasting more than two weeks, thoughts of suicide, loss of appetite or increased appetite, too much or too little sleep, loss of interest in, acti in activities you used to enjoy, repeated angry outbursts, drug or alcohol abuse, inability to make decisions, and social isolation. Through counseling, patients and families can learn to draw on inner strength and learn new ways of coping with kidney disease and necessary treatment. If additional professional help is needed beyond what can be provided by the facility, social worker, ask for a referral to your local mental health center or private practice, you know, psychologist or psychiatrist or social worker. Remember guys, asking for help is not a sign of weakness, but of a, of a desire to do well. And that is the truth, guys. You have to remember that. Keep that in mind. Is it normal for kidney patients to have mood swings? Moodiness is common among kidney patients. It is often thought to be a result of the following factors. Uremia or buildup of waste products in the blood 
can be irritating to the nervous system, causing an increase, an increase in irritability, mostly in the early stages. Some medications may cause moodiness or make you even depressed. The stress caused by chronic kidney illness accounts for a wide range feeling, wide range of feelings and moods. This includes general irritability, anger and frustration over the problems caused by the illness and feelings of being helpless and hopeless when faced with the life-threatening disease. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop it right here in this section. And as, um, as you heard, all of these things that you guys are feeling are so normal when you first found out you have kidney disease. As I um, talked about and shared, I went through the same exact thing. And um, it's, it's difficult, but it's, you can get through all of it. You know, these are just the initial stages of um, kidney disease that you're going through. But, you know, um, as the um, National Kidney Foundation says, there is so much help for you guys. All you have to do is just reach out. It is right there for you. So I'm going to stop here in this section of um, coping with um, um, with emotions. And to let you know again that um, we are always thinking about you. Oh my goodness, we are sending you good vibes, guys. Don't forget, please stay positive. That is your best bet, always. And stay compliant with your doctors and, you know, your treatment. And I promise you guys, you're going to get through this. Um, just know that, like I said, there are so many people working in the background for you. So just take care of yourselves and know that this too shall pass in time. So guys, I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.